Hey guys, this is Priyanka and I'm going to make a tutorial on Google Maps. I already have one tutorial on that, but I'm going to make an updated version because a lot of things have changed since two years and I received a lot of comments and emails about it. So I just thought that I can make an updated tutorial so that all of your doubts and questions will get answered here. So I'm going to make a new project. And I'm going to name it maps demo and click next. You need to select at least API level 17 as minimum SDK because it won't work below that. So here it's API 18. So that's fine. And click next. Instead of selecting empty activity here, select Google Maps activity and click next and finish. So it will take a few seconds to set up. And once it is done, you will see that Google Maps API.xml file is open and you need to create an API key here and paste it here. So you can just follow these directions or just copy this link and open a browser and paste it. So you will open console.developers.google.com. So select create project and click continue. You may need to log in to your Google account for this. I was already logged in, so I didn't have to do that. And then click on create API key. Click on restrict key and you can name your API key. I'll write maps demo key and make sure that only Android apps is selected and click save. Now just copy this link and open that Google Maps API.xml file and paste here where it's written your key here and it's done. You can open your manifest file and see that it will get copied here as well. So you won't need to open this file ever again. So just close it. So previously two years ago when I made this tutorial here it was a different method but now it's on map ready so what it is doing is it is setting the default location to sydney and it is adding a marker there and it is moving the camera to that location so that the focus is there and we are going to make some changes in this method and we are going to add some more methods but now i can run it and show you how it looks so you will need an actual Android device for this. You can't run this application on AVD and test it. So I have already plugged in my phone here and you can click on run and you will see that your phone or tab, whatever you are using, it will be displayed in the connected devices, but you have to enable developer options and then you have to enable USB debugging. If you want to know how to do that, it will take just one or two minutes i will link a video here and you can do that and then you will be able to see your device here and click ok if you see this message just click on proceed without instant run so you won't need to wait for it to install and it will take a few seconds so here you can see that the location is set to sydney and we can't move the marker there is no button to search or get your current location here we will add those things uh, in the next parts and this is it for today i will show you how to get your current location and how you can track a moving person or moving vehicle so if your location is changing constantly you can keep a track of it and just like Google Maps does it, you can do it. And we will add that functionality later. So you can subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for the new tutorials. Bye.